Hi guys, um, my name is Lee at IMVU and um, I am here to teach you guys how to make hair textures. Now I am not creating at the moment but I will be soon here again. Um, I, I make hairs so my, my avatar name is Constantly, it's C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T-L-L-Y. Um, now, what I wanted to do today is show you guys two different ways how to make hair textures. Now, I already got started on two of them, so I'm going to just show you guys previews of those, which is um, here's the first one. I learned how to do this one, which was a different way, which was kind of weird. Now, my way, I find it really, really, really easy. Uh, and it works really well just like any other so my way is this one right here it's a it's a little bit lighter and it doesn't really give you as much detail but I'll show you guys both ways and it depends how much blur you use and how light you really want your hair to be so let's get started so what you want to do is go to file and the next thing you want to go to new and make sure your width is 256 and your height is 256 pixels and okay now you guys can choose any color you want um i know how to do a one-way color for a one-way hair you can do a two-way color for two-way hairs and a three-way color uh, i know how to do all three of them and i don't think four will go depends on you but let's Let's see. So you want to pick a good color you want. And then I'm going to switch this up a bit. Um, I really don't mind on the hair color. So. Alright, so I'm going to use that color brownish. And after you've got your color, what you want to do for this one, I'm going to show you guys, not my way, I'm going to show you guys another way, is that, um, here you guys go, is you guys want to make straight lines across using shift to help you, alright? You can get a lighter color, which is one of these, so they say, or you can use white. I used white for mine, but if you want to use a different color, that's okay. So I have a circle brush at 19, and the scale is 100, and our opacity is 100, so let's make our lines. Depending how many lines you want to use. Oops. I use three lines, so. Alright, so they might not be that even. <coughs> so, what you want to get do is you want to go to filters and noise and RBG noise. Make sure they're 20 each. Twenty, twenty, 20 and 20. Now you want to click OK. So you want to go back to filters, noise, and spread for 50 each on this one. Horizontal 50 and vertical 50. So it might be looking weird, right? Yeah, that's what I thought the first time too. So you want to go back and go to filters and blur and motion blur. Make sure it's 20x90. So your length is 20 and your angle is 90. Now my hair might not be looking that even or correctly, just like the other one, but there's that one that one turtle that I wanted to show you guys 
Um, it's weird looking, but I think it's a little better, but I prefer either way. So, what I want to do is show you guys my way. Now, my way is a little weird, and I'm not really doing it like any others, but it still goes with it, and it still turns out very nice. So, what you want to do, if, if you ever decide to do the other, is I'm going to make a new one, 256, 256, and okay. Um, like I said, I use white lines, so... Now what I do here is, after I get the white lines, I go to blur and I go to gouache and blur. So I set it at 55, 55 each, and I say okay. Now I'm going to smudge this and I'm going to have my brush, the circle 19, at 38. So let's go over this. It's up to you guys if you guys want to do spread. But this is an old way. go to blur, collage and blur again, and, well, <laughs> there we go. Now I'll set this at 20 each, and you press OK. And you want to smudge that out again. It'll fade more depending how you want your hair to look. But I prefer this the easiest way. And it shows nicely on your hair. Now if you guys don't like so much, what you can do is <coughs> you could just erase some of it. But I prefer not to and After that one, you want to go to noise. You want to go to RBG noise. And make sure it's all 20. Again. And then you go to blur. <coughs> Gloss and blur. And 20. So, you can just smudge all this. By making your own hair. depends which way is easier for you guys but I think this way is easier for me and um, that is my way that I do to make hair and I find that this way is easier you know but then as well like I said this other way here too by looking at both of them they're both well and they both fit so you guys can have this weird looking one, which is kind of noobish, but I don't know how it looks because I am not creating right now. Or you guys can do it my way. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So please like, please comment, and if you have any questions, just hit me up on IMVU or comment right below on my YouTube video. Thank you.